right, this is a Windows 10 system. Now I'm actually not gonna add this to the domain because this is a, this is my actual Surface Pro and I don't wanna put the Surface Pro on the domain. But this is how you would do it. Okay, if you've never added a computer to the domain before, it's as simple as this, okay? What you do is go into the actual, oh, I'm sorry, you know what? <laughs> You're seeing it, but I'm not remoted into the, uh, hold on, I got to remote into my Surface Pro so I can show you this. I'm actually not RDP'd in. It would help if I could actually be in too, so that this way you can see what I'm trying to show you. Okay, now I'm in. All right, so what you do is you actually go into the control panel. All right, so let me show you that. Once you get in the control panel, you go to system. All right. Now, when you're in the system here, you'll see here where it says computer name, domain, and workgroup settings. You hit change. Where it says here to uh, rename or add this computer to the domain, hit the change button. Right here is where I change it from a work group to a domain. I would actually click on domain. I would put in the name of the domain. A box will pop up asking me for an administrative account for the domain. When I put in my username and password for the domain, it will then automatically create a computer account for me in Active Directory. Then you'll get a sign that says, welcome to the domain. You'll reset your box. You'll reboot. And then when the machine comes up, you log into the domain. And it's as simple as that. But this is where you actually change the computer name and where you can add it to a domain or not.